2022 is coming and people are already calling for bear market giving you that red flag caution to understand there is a possibility that this may happen now before you make any decision look at the price the charts and understand what happened in the past what you saw and what you can learn from that and what you can take from that one towards this market cycle because you are going to be at a place where you do like this say for example if you look at this asset you have done the first blast the upside you're consolidating after that fine people are like okay that's it it's done but from the last cycle if you are looking at this after a long consolidation we had these kind of blast to the upside we have corrected back down and you know even when we were going back up we had time when we were correcting like 50 percentage 60 percentage now take this into account from that top to the absolute bottom you did like 88 percentage of correction now that's not a small stuff it's painful to go through that correction but understand one thing those who actually made the majority of the profits they did hold through that now i'll explain say this one 40x is not bad but you know if you are buying here and holding through till the stop your roi is actually a different say if you take this one and go all the way to the top and look at this you kind of managed to get 600x now say you miss something at the top and bottom you still get 500x there now if you had this 40x and you know you took your profit somewhere here that means the market was going down you were worried and you took the price out you're like 15x so to reach that 500x range now you not only need 10x you need a lot more so when the price is going down 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 people are saying no this is going down this is a bear market so even when you're coming back up this way and then drop 50 percentage people are you know scared they're saying okay that's a bear market we're going back down and then this happens so now you put that into perspective and you kind of look at this you did the 40x from there but most of them would only jump into the market from here why because you break that previous high at that range and that's 18x now if you put that into perspective you are not still there with the maximum outcome which you could have achieved if you went through this corrective action and then to the upside right but understand we talked through it so easily but it's not that easy to hold through these drops when the market actually shows you 80 percentage drop now there is one stuff we all have to understand see if you have been in the market through this 88 percentage drop and now when you get another 50 percentage drop your threshold is done i'm like at least for me it's not done and then a lot of people I see, they're fine because they just went through an 80 percentage drop, current 50 percentage drop, they know that's much lower than what happened before and the high and the low which it is creating is better. So that's why when you come on to various assets, you see this, say in the general altcoin, you have dropped like 30 percentage, right? But in some of the coins, you have dropped 65 percentage already. You come to the XRP and you are like, okay, how much we have dropped? So you kind of take the price action here. You take from the top to the bottom. We put in like 0.7 range. You're like 50 percentage down. So you have assets which have done 10, 20 and up to 70 percentage drops right now. So if you are scared about these drops, you know, it's going to be really hard for you to stay in the market till the time we go back up because we have done 70 percentage we have done 80 percentage we have done a lot more in correction here now the key point is if you think the bear market is done look at how long it has been it's like 640 days of bull market ether again 650 so you go back to the bitcoin and you see it's doing way more than that it's kind of double that right now you go back you look at the bitcoin chart and you're like okay what can you understand from that there was a trend line we were increasing the momentum you increased it once twice and the third time you increased the momentum and you broke that one that's when you actually had a bear market so now we are looking at this one okay it's one it's two and are you going to break down you don't know we don't know i don't know no one knows but the chances are you may not right but if there is a worst case scenario you know 
the world is the sky is falling that kind of attitude then yeah you're going to come all the way back down to this range get accumulated and then go back up but that's a rare case right say for example you are in the crypto market you look at this charts you look at all of this green numbers red numbers mix it numbers and you're making your decision but at that point i want to ask you one question if you are saying the world is going to end tomorrow does it really matter when you're taking that 20 percentage out after getting 80 percentage hit in the market that 20 percentage is it all what do you need in this market you know that's where you have these kind of steps which is you know mind-boggling to me because when you look at the liquidity volume coming in to the tether you just look at this the volume is going in 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 you can say like there is no sellers you can say the volume is going in completely and uh, you can also say like fine i think people are moving out of crypto into tether so what do you actually do are you going to follow the herd or are you going to look at market as a contrary name because i personally think that for a lot of different assets you're still here disbelief but believe me i'm not saying that's where we are for ether because we have done through that phase and we've reached this level where you are way above the all-time highs right you went to like five thousand dollars and the all-time high was like 1400 and you take the same for bitcoin and you see the same pattern but what i'm saying is in this asset class you have a lot of assets which are undervalued right now and which is still in that phase of people saying okay this is a circus rally this is not gonna go higher right so when we came to two dollar and dropped people definitely thought that we are gonna go back down you know we are gonna go back down so after that what happens this is that your disbelief area where you are coming back down you dip and you dip below the previous low which is painful to watch and then you slowly go back up but considering what you have done here in the bear market this is nothing right then you get the hope then you're becoming optimistic right that is what you see here in this phase right now you believe that the price is going to go up it's going to continue higher and you are here in the belief towards thrill phase in those coins so yes you do have euphoria to come in for those coins which usually happens as a blow off the top and when people usually say you know you are not expecting a blow off the top in crypto market in this cycle this cycle is different that's where you should be cautious you know if people say like this time it's different most likely you know we are human beings we're going to repeat the history so it won't be much of a difference from the last time so learn from that and try to put that into perspective because when you look at assets you do understand some are kind of rhyming what it has done previously some have already reached the range of support so if you look at through the indicators you look at through the price you get an idea that okay this is a possibility right you're looking for uh, the odds what the market is going to do and based on that if you are rebalancing you should actually understand what is a trend based indicator what you are looking at before you actually get out of the market where you want to get out of the market you know you have to go through all of those stuff now let's actually discuss through this welcome to the scientific investor family where we discuss crypto and science behind investing regularly now we do understand that bear market will come this is not like you know this is going to be the everlasting bull run we are going to go high 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 every time that's not going to happen you know you see the ether bought almost like 80 85 dollars and right now you're standing at 3800 dollars so you're already way higher so if you are entering into the market now or if you're already positioned in the market you would look for assets where you are you know already done these highs you're taking your profits and you're going into assets where you have a lot of possibilities right you're still early in the cycle now when we say early in the cycle it's actually based on the supply and buying economics meaning the demand right when you have supply coming in the market that's not the supply which ripple the company is dropping into the market i'm talking about the liquidity in the market how many people are selling how many of them are buying it so you look at that economics and you're like okay 148 million in buy 136 in sell so chances are we will slowly grind back because the supply is now less than that of the demand right the demand is like 148 million worth of xrp but the existing supply there is 136 now this varies right every 24 hours now and then you look at this and it varies but 
the average variation in last three days that was positive now we look at that for next five days and you'll understand what the trend is going to be right so when you see like even now this is in billions right 1.7 billion in buy and 1.68 in sell so you have like 0.02 billion exceeding in the demand side so when the majority are saying no 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 i'm going to sell you look at the other side when you are selling at this price who is buying it from you because unless someone else is buying it from you that sell order is not getting executed right in any exchange so imagine who is buying at that price because when you see bull market topping out in this ranges you know that blow of the top you don't see that much volume in buying side euphoria will be there but you know the whales majority of the investors they understand okay it's time to take profit step back sit down now the aspect which i told you for ether that we may actually come back down is actually based on the rsi and then the macd macd crossed to the downside and we you know have a little bit of downside day we may actually come back down this range so if we are doing that what will happen in the price <clears throat> is that you're going to come all the way down here to the moving average one which would be like two thousand eight hundred dollars and if that don't hold and if the price is actually breaking this trend line and going towards the moving average and that is not holding then you're going all the way back into this range now if that's not the case it's actually great it's bullish but always understand we usually have pattern analysis and we do understand that so before jumping on that one look at this you went from here all the way up to this one that's the support resistance now we are slowing down so right now you had the support horizontal one and if you break that when you're coming back down here right so the horizontal support which i talked about is like just take a horizontal line from here and draw it and you're like okay you have that horizontal line and you're at that point right now so based on the macd it indicates that there is a higher possibility that the rsi is going to break down but if you get a bounce that's bullish if you break this one to the upside that's double bullish but right now the indicators are suggesting you can go down there is a possibility you're going to go down so that's going to be huge capitulation if the market is actually going to do that so in terms of bitcoin what does that mean say you are at the moving average 50 day moving average then the trend line support so with respect to that of ether you have downside towards 2800 to reach your moving average whereas bitcoin is already at that moving average so that is actually a huge difference now when you actually look at these you do have to understand like the market shows various indicators right now it's only this now we are looking at the big buy zone so that's in this range but you do have another area of support resistance which is lying here so you put that into perspective you are coming all the way to like 40 44000 say 40 to 43000 to be kind of accurate in that range we have already seen the price coming down to 44 and getting bounced meaning people are buying there so that is a strong level of support so if you look at bitcoin in that aspect of recent demand zone we are at the moving average we are at the trend line support we are at the buy zone so compared to either bitcoin is bullish so the narrative in the market stay with me in this one the narrative in the market is i've listened to a lot of people saying different stuff but one of the narrative i see in the market is like ether is going to outperform bitcoin okay great based on whatever you see the adoption the smart contracts you know people building on that network i agree i agree but the question is do the price the charts actually show you that it's like okay maybe not right and then you come to xrp and you see this the price is close to the moving average the 50 day moving average on a weekly and you add the trend line and the horizontal buy zone so i'm like okay if that is the case chances are high that i would in my opinion say xrp is going to outperform ether last market wave we underperformed the actual average was like 33 say 30 and we did like 15 but this time we are going to do above the average if that's the case we are going to see big price fluctuations in xrp but i know definitely a lot of people it's hard to believe it right now when the prices are down when the psychology of the market the emotions are high psychology is low you know that kind of stuff but 
it's only when the price go back up get this euphoric candle people become aware of yeah i'm gonna buy this one but does it make sense buying these candles big candles or does it really make sense buying these red candles at the zone of support now we don't know what the absolute support would be but you can definitely go into the smaller time frame charts and look at like this was the previous support you know it was being supported here we had another level of support here so that is a range of where people come in and buy because this is a 24 hour market and people around the globe in different time zone are buying and selling these assets so when you're buying the other guy who want to really buy is sleeping so he wake up and then he buys so the price price do fluctuate right when people say okay we dropped from 0.9 to 0.8 yeah we dropped but that's not a huge fluctuation in the big picture you're zooming out and looking at where we are and you're like okay that's not a big correction you have been now delete all the stuff and you are still on a weekly and you look at this big candle we were all happy weren't we with this big rise and giant weekly candle now extend this one within that and you see we haven't changed anything right so this move of bounce from 0.5 coming all the way up and this giant candle you are still in that range so this particular blast is being retested again and again so if you are bouncing from here the narrative is not changed we are going to the upside but i know it's hard to believe when you are at the bottom and it's hard to make profit when you are at the top so way better than buying at the top it's way way easier to buy close to the bottom so if you are going to make profit you are not going to be a bear right now you can be a bear that's completely up to you it's your portfolio but always understand the market shows this one and if you see that we are here in that euphoria before you are going down the bear market it's fine you can take your decision you can move out because what i see is not this euphoria in the market whereas fear and panic in the market and usually that's when you buy you listen to the big guys the giant in the market and you understand the same stuff so that is one of the reason why we actually go through regular updates for different assets let it be a payment asset let it be you know smart contract let it be any type of use cases people are buying into all of those so you definitely have to understand it has some downside it has some upside what can you anticipate for next 3 months that kind of stuff that's why we do these updates on a regular basis in the patreon so if you want to join and get these updates you can look at the patreon the link is given in the description below and that's going to help you rebalance your portfolio if you want to or get a holistic picture of where you are going in this market cycle so guys i definitely believe you received value for your time and if you did please do hit that like and subscribe button that supports the channel a lot i'll meet you on the next video bye for now